Hello friends, welcome back to another episode here on the channel. I hope you're all doing well. For anyone new to the channel, my name is Lee, also known as Osiris. And in today's episode, we're going to be continuing on with our VGC Series 8 content. The team that we're featuring today is on the screen in front of you right now, which is going to be featuring the Calyrex Shadow Rider, one of my all-time favorite restricteds that we've got access to now in Sword and Shield, brand new with the Crown Tundra, uh, a ghost psychic type. So it's got some drawbacks, got some big weaknesses, four times weakness to dark. So I have to be pretty careful about those and um, but we've paired it up with some nice things and some interesting things to help with that weakness uh, obviously with a base 148 speed stat as well it's like ridiculous outspeeds pretty much most things in the format barring Regieleki and um, but we've got Thunderous Theory in. Uh, I've actually slapped an assault vest on this uh, variant it's quite an interesting set and spread so hopefully we can get to see it throughout the video uh, we've got Ndidi and Hat a common combination that we've seen throughout every format series in uh, the VGC season 2020 2021 and then we've got Torkoal that helps out with stuff like Calyrex Ice Rider, Glastria, other Trick Room variant uh, Pokemon and gives us a form of weather control as well. And then we've slapped Urshifu on the end for a nice dark type which gives us some nice options against opposing ghosts and other things that would threaten the majority of the team. Um, there will be a poker paste down in the description below as always. We'll have a couple of games and I will throw the rental team up at the end of the episode. So without further ado my friends, let's jump into this first one. Make sure you stick around till the end to grab that rental code if you'd like to try this team out for yourself and we'll jump into our first match of the day and before we get into today's battles everyone i just want to let you all know that this friday we'll be kicking off our weekly tournaments over on our discord server they're going to be run through the switch console so all you're going to need is your switch a copy of sword or a copy of shield and the tournament id that i will throw up in a minute these are going to be great resources to get weekly consistent practice we'll be running them every single friday from the this Friday the 5th and they'll all be starting at the same time 8 p.m. UTC time and running till 11 p.m. they will be best of one no best of three at the moment but it is consistent practice and it will be great to have you join our community over there get involved with these tournaments and I hope if you do you enjoy them so first up we have a Zassian team Zassian, Chandler, Tyranitar, Galarian, Zapdos, Gastrodon and Grimmsnarl so the team concept is going to be, wow, there's, there's defiant uh, abusers in there, obviously, with the Galarian Zapdos uh, screen support as well. And there's definitely Trick Room there from the Chandelier. I do feel like Calyrex has a decent time. You need to be very careful around the uh, the Tyranitar and potentially the Grim Snarl as well that could carry something um, like a foul player that could do some big damage to us. Uh, Calyrex, though, outspeeds everything off the bat. Uh, could be quite a nice option for sure. So I think I will lead Calyrex. It's just what I want to kind of pair next to it. I mean, Urshifu is not a bad option at all. It will underspeed uh, Galarian Zapdos, but at the same time, um, it does give us some nice options, especially with the Sash there. Uh, I'm just worried mainly if we see the Tyranitar come out um, more than anything. Uh, if the Trick Room goes up, I guess we could pull Hat and Didi in the back, you know? Um, it's not a bad option. Thunderous doesn't do a too bad a job here. It's not going to be great against Gastrodon. That's the only issue. But really, if we can get Hat in a Trick Room, um, we're going to be sitting... Mm, no, 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 no. I think we need Torkoal. Uh, I think we need Hat and Torkoal. Are we going to be able to lock in in time? Come on, click, 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 click. I don't want to time out. That's the thing. Don't want to end up with Calyrex Thunderous as a lead. It's not a bad lead, but it does leave us a little bit vulnerable to something like Tyranitar that could come out. And I think this player's rated 50th on the rank ladder at the minute. So we're at a stage now where we can't be making any silly mistakes. And uh, team preview, always one of those things. On camera, I love to uh, chat far too much. But um, never mind, it's all going to be all right because we are seeing the Zassian and we are going to see Tyranitar come out as well. So, I mean, in this situation, we're pretty all right. We've got a couple of options what we can do here. We can go um, Astral Barrage, Cross Combat. Or we could go Max Quake into the Zassian, probably pick up the Knockout there and then Cross Combat into the Tyranitar, which isn't a bad play. I think that's probably the best player, to be honest. We can remove the Zassian from the field um, and just close combat. Even if the Tyranitar... Like, it's a good trade. I feel like if we trade Calyrex for um, Zassian here, it's not bad because we're not on a bad spot. Um, so, 
let's see what my opponent does um if the tyranitar doesn't max it's going down here that's a that's a big thing um so we're in not too bad a spot. Tyranitar withdrawn, which is perfect for Calyrex. Like, that's exactly what we want to see. We don't mind getting a free close combat off into the Grimmsnarl either. And um, although the big thing is we need to pick up the knockout onto the Zacian. That is the biggest thing. Um, because if we miss the knockout here, then Behemoth Blade is going to knock us out for sure. And then we're going to be in a lot of trouble. So... We need to be able to pick the knockout out, like pick up the knockout, 100%. Zacian going to protect, okay, so that's actually alright, that's actually alright, because we're going to get some damage off, they're going to get their screens up next turn, which is fine, but it's probably in range now to go down, um, regardless of screen support, I'd imagine. Close combat not really going to do too much to the Grim Snarl. Actually does a fat amount. Okay, we're in a phenomenal spot. Um, yeah, we're really sitting in a quite a nice spot. The Sandstorm going to chip and break the Sash on uh, Urshifu. Yeah, can we take this Zassian down behind the light screen? You've got to imagine we can. Yeah, I'm going to go for it again. We'll just go for another close combat into the Grim Snarl because they're probably going to reflect, so we won't be able to take them down. Uh, oh, we will, we will, because they're not going to go for the reflect. They're going for the light screen. Um, we've just got to hope that this picks up the knockout. Could have doubled into the Zacian as well, but yeah, it's going to be more than enough with the life orb. That's what my thinking was. That first turn, that initial damage. <sighs> Ooh, we get a crit we get a crit so that might have actually mattered uh anyone in chat um comments let me know did that matter because i'll forget to check after the game um may have done it may have done uh and the close combat now going to be able to pick up the grim snarl going to avoid getting a reflect but I think this is one of the problems about Calyrex, and this is what I kind of reiterate to a lot of players that are coming into the format right now. You know, you're going up against Calyrex, you need speed control against it. You, you cannot just go toe-to-toe -to -toe with it, unless you've got, like, really, like, you know, something like Moltres. But then, generally, Calyrex teams are going to have something like Thunderous Theory, and it deals with Moltres pretty well. So, you know, it's it's very difficult. It is very difficult. Uh, Chandelure coming out, and Tyranitar. Um, you'd imagine the Tyranitar are going to be the thing that maxes here. Um, what have we got in the back? Just to remind ourselves, Hat Torkoal. It's going to be the best against Tyranitar, really, is it? Um, I mean, we're probably better off going quick, close combat into Tyranitar. In all honesty, like it might max, max guard. <laughs> Because it's so worried about the, the close combat. I mean, you're not taking Urshifu down unless you max knuckle it. So I think we'll have two shots at Tyranitar anyway. So we just get rid of the Chandelure. Chandelure's probably sashed, I'd imagine. It looks like the Shandy's going to be the thing that maxes, though. No, it's a Tyranitar. Okay. Yeah, Shandy's sashed. Sashed. So we should have really doubled into it, maybe. Um, because it's probably going to be able to get an attack off and because of the defense drops that we've got with uh, with Urshifu. Oh, that's not so good. That is not good at all. Ally switch. Okay. Do we deserve that? Definitely not. That does nothing. At least we're not proccing a weakness policy. Um, and the close combat going to do absolutely zip to uh, the Chandelure because of the ally switch. So we're going to lose, uh, yeah, the max uh, quick would have been the better option there. Kind of covers all bases as well, you know. There's a max darkness. <sighs> right, well. Hmm. I think we've got to bring in hat. I think we've got to bring in hat. And I think... Yeah. Bring in Hat. Try and get a Trick Room up now, because that's pretty much our only hope. But Hat's going to take so much damage. This is a problem from the Tyranitar. I don't know if we'll be able to take 
a Tito. Now, are they going to ally switch again? Like, I always have this philosophy of never play the ally switch games. I'm going to trick trick room and I'm going to close combat again. If we see ally switch, we see ally switch. If we don't, then close combat. Oh, we're going to say, why God? Okay, we're going to see an imprison. If they've heat waved. Oh, they've trick roomed. Trick room on our trick room. Okay. It's not the worst turn in the world. Could have went a lot worse. But, um, mm. what are we going to do? Do we just do the same again? I think the thing is, I think we trick room again. Do I call the ally switch though this time? It's where the mind games come in, isn't it? Um, Chandler hasn't got in prison, which is good. They cannot max guard this next turn. We could protect Urshifu and just go. Mm, yeah, I think what we'll do is protect Urshifu. Uh, do we protect? Do we protect though? Or do we just go? I think we just go trick room again. I think we go exactly the same again. They might ally switch. No, they don't. Okay. That's fine. We'll take that all day long. I don't like playing ally switch games. That's how we deal with it. If it came out, I just have to accept it. I just don't like I hate ally switch. As many of you will also dislike ally switch. But now we've got this game because uh, Urshifu's pretty much carried us in this one. I mean, uh, to be honest, Calyrex did some big work in this game. So um, we cannot... Give all the credit to Urshifu as much as I, I, I'd like to. Uh, and we got Torkoal to come in. But a Wicked Blow is going to be more than enough to deal with my opponent, Chandelure. Um, and even if you get the Trick Room up at that point, I think we'll, uh, it's gonna be, it would be difficult. It would be difficult against the Tito. We just have to be careful about not proccing a weakness policy. But... I think we get lucky as well early on with the, the, the critical hit uh, onto Zacian. Maybe it mattered, maybe it didn't. But we do wrap this one up and very good game to my opponent. And uh, we pick up a nice win to kick us off with today. Haven't really seen too much of the Trick Room mod there, but it was present. Um, it was there as kind of a, uh, a backup almost, but we didn't really need it like Calyrex and uh, Urshifu. Doing some huge work there for us, so that was really good. And uh, with that, my friends, we will swiftly move on to our next opponent. Okay, we got Teemo up next, playing a team of Groudon, Venusaur, Thunderous, Incineroar, Porygon 2, and Glastria. This okay, what are we gonna do against this? Because this team is pretty nasty. Uh, the Glastria, mm, I mean, we could go straight Trick Room. Uh, we got Torkoal to kind of take advantage of that. This team falls pretty hard apart under Trick Room. We could do that with Torque, and then what we're going to have as a last Pokemon. Hmm. Maybe Calyrex. Because if we still got the Psychic Terrain in effect, it might mean being a bit more careful with Indeedee in, in this match. Um, I think one of the things that really hinders Indeedee Hat, though, is if we see, like, Groudon and um, Venusaur. Because the Precipice Blades damage, we can avoid what the, the Venusaur is doing, of course, but we can't avoid the Precipice Blades damage, which is going to be, uh, if it's banded, then pretty, pretty devastating. Um, we've always got the option to max hat. No reason not to, but we'd lose a Trick Room element. But it would give us the option to maybe get in something like Calyrex the next turn. We don't need to max that, but we could all, always get rid of the Venusaur here, or get rid of the the, the, the Groudon. I think it's better to get rid of the Venusaur, uh, follow me, um, if we can. Oh, do we go for the Confusion, or do we just go for the Trick Room and then get... Because we'll take a Precipice Blades, we'll take a Precipice Blades with Hat. Um, it's just whether or not... Yeah, I mean, Trick Room and then get Torkoal onto the field. Probably the better idea, to be honest. And save Calyrex for the late game. Now we will lose Indeedee here, potentially. Let me see. Yeah, just a sludge bomb coming out. Okay. Fine. Precipice Blades. We just got to hope it's not banded. 
Ooh, there we go. That precipice blade biting you in the butt. That's why I've got a, such a, a, a bad relationship with precipice blades. It it really punishes you. Um, when you need it to hit, and um, it's really unfortunate. So, um, the very whiffy move. As you'll know if you watch the channel many times before. So we'll hit that um, eruption button and we will hit the G-Max. Mindstorm. Max Mindstorm. We'll go after the Groudon here. I think between an eruption, even if the Groudon Max is here. We know the life orbs on the Venusaur, so it's not sashed. Um, there's no way it's got a Max. Yeah, it's got a switch. We'll see what comes in. Incineroar. That's fine. Um... The Groudon might protect, but I mean, it's not really, it's kind of just stalling the Trick Room turns out at this point. And any damage that we can get right now is going to be very useful. Um, obviously, the Precipice Blades miss has is, is, is made this match a lot easier for us, so we've got to remember that. But we, I think we take it with Hat. We'd be in this si similar situation, uh, but maybe we don't max in that scenario. Groudon going to max as well. Okay, well that's fine. And the beauty about Groudon now is like if you're used to playing Primal Groudon, like fire type attacks actually hurt it pretty, pretty hard. Like I had a, an Incineroar, uh, I was testing the Groudon team earlier. Uh, I had an Incineroar uh, fire off a Flare Blitz into Groudon, did like over 40% damage, nearly 50%. It was absolutely nuts. I was like, oh my god, yeah, it's not it's not the same as Primal Groudon. You can't be as like careless with it as like maybe you once were. Um as we take down the Groudon with the hat. And what's my opponent got left? I mean, they haven't got Glastria because I mean if you had Glastria, I think you that's ah, tough though when you've got like Torkoal out on the field in front of you. Um I don't know. Even with the Precipice Blades miss, we'd be in a similar situation to what we are now. So, Hat would just be a little less health, healthy. Um, which does make a big difference, of course. But, um, I still think we'd be in a similar situation if my opponent played out exactly what they've done with the hit, the pre Precipice Blades hitting. It's one of the reasons why I don't like Precipice Blades, because it really can cost you, especially in a best of one. I think best of three is a little different. I think you get a little more leeway. You know, you've got a lot more turns for it to uh, to hit, because you're using it a lot more. Um, so you don't get punished as much by it. But I think when you're... Um... Yeah, we'll go Corruption again, and we'll go for G-Max. Smite get this confusion started. Um, yeah, I think when you're in a best of one and you really there's crucial turns where you need it to hit It can be great at times, but it can be very punishing when it misses because sometimes those misses are very crucial Or at least I always found them to be very crucial. So this one's gonna be a quick one But uh, we take down the Venus or so G max smite is gonna be able to take down the incineral and I think as well like uh, honestly, like Torkoal is such a good Pokemon in this format. Like you get it in a Trick Room, there's only like Stack Attacker that really underspeeds it and causes it an issue, you know. And there ain't that much Stack Attacker going around at the moment. Maybe that'll change. But it does so well against like all the Trick Room stuff. Um, Glastria, Calyrex Ice Rider, like Duskman Necrozma, Dialga. If you've seen Dialga in a Trick Room team, you know, like Torkoal's still like an absolute beast. Um, and you just need that positioning and there isn't really a better setup honestly with 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 trick room than Indeedy and hat and Indeedy complements shadow calyrex so well I mean we've got the glastria coming in here and we can just bop 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 and say a good night to my opponent as they cancel the battle like I say I don't know now looking back how the battles kind of uh, panned out whether or not that precipice blades really matter too much um, you know the Indeedy uh, went down like it should have done the hat would have survived uh, double damage remember so I think it would have played out exactly the same hat would have just been a lot lower health than it would have been uh, originally so very good game to my opponent and uh, we'll hop over and get you guys that rental code okay friends here it is here's the rental code if you do try the team out I hope you enjoy it I think uh, the assault vest 
thunderous we really didn't get to see very much of today which is a little bit of a shame so just to delve a little bit deeper into that um it just provides you a little bit more support against things like reggie alecki that would otherwise give you a few issues and you've got iron tail there which uh, on an assault vest set you've not got many options for that fourth move there are a few but i feel like iron tail at least gives you a good way to boost your defenses and against something like ice ice rider calyrex you can do almost 50 percent uh damage to it um, and get a defense boost which will allow you to take the glacial lance uh, in your max state so it's it's quite valuable and also boosts the bolsters the defense for the rest of the team um thunderous also pairs up super nicely with something like calyrex where you can you can uh, pair it go the max airstream and just absolutely barrage your opponents also plays nicely with urshifu as well and then the rest of the team kind of fits in but the the thunder is the one thing that we didn't really see too much of um as i was making my way up to master ball rank with this team um the thunder has put in so much work throughout every game it means you can take like origin pulses water spouts and things like that it's just it's just phenomenally good the assault vest variant and i haven't missed having protect on it like one little bit i mean there was probably one match where i was thinking i could max guard here and did miss it but other than that the rest of the time it's been phenomenal so there will be a poker piss down below if you want to grab it friends i hope you have fun with the team i'm going to end the episode there have a great rest of your day we'll be back on friday with another rental team uh, featuring another restricted Pokemon so I hope you uh, look forward to that take care of yourselves in the meantime and I'll see you all for another episode very soon so until then take care and bye bye